Hey everyone! We're a week into developing Hearthling traits for Alpha 21, but if I tried to show that to you now, it would be a desktop Tuesday full of screens and screens of code. So instead, let's take a look at some of the animation easter eggs that artist Mally snuck into Alpha 20. One of our goals in Stonehearth is making our Hearthlings look and feel like real people, strangers who become a family through shared work and adventure. This is why, at the end of last summer, you may have noticed Linda put some code into the game that allows two entities with individual AIs to interact with, a with each other out outside of combat. Right now, we use this tech by allowing Hearthlings who are idling, who are out of work to do, to have conversations with each other. At first, the conversations were just two people waving at each other. However, it's actually possible to define a conversation as a series of interactions, where each interaction plays an idol. During Alpha 20, Mally started stringing his idol animations together to form conversations with narratives. For example, here's a conversation in which a very proud person runs over to tell their friend about an accomplishment. They then applaud. Here is one about a job well done. Here, Mally reuses tool inspection idols and the consideration idols to make a conversation in which one person is clearly talking about their work and the other person is offering some supporting thoughts. Mally created these animations to be used in lots of situations and to mean different things in different times, and I'm really happy to say that from this example it's working quite well. Another thing that Mally did, with a tiny little bit of help from Linda in Alpha 20, is conversations between hearthlings and their pet animals. For example, here's a trapper having a little conversation with her pet rabbit. And here is the animation for a pollo in Maya that is being interacted with. Here it is in the game. Finally, here's the sheep animation. It gave Mally quite a bit of trouble. Because we don't have an animation technology called IK, which allows you to fix a hand or a foot to a part of the world so that the rest of the limb can animate automatically when you move the body, he had to animate each segment piece by piece. However, we think it's pretty adorable. Mally did make one more animation, a mood animation, which he ended up removing from Alpha 20 because we didn't have an excuse yet to show existential anger in the game. But here's the animation. I'm quite fond of it, perhaps because it looks to me like this person is some sort of secret supervillain ready to make her plans to conquer Hearth. And that's it for this week. Please enjoy Alpha 20, and let us know how it's going for you here in the comments or on our forum at discourse.stonehearth.net. And that's it for this week. See you next week!